Hey guys, welcome! Today I'm gonna show you how to do a doll like makeup look. To begin the look, I'm gonna use a moisturizer. So I'm gonna use Embryolist, one of my favorites to create my makeup look for today's video. And I'm gonna use Iconic London highlighter. And this is a liquid highlighter. So I'm gonna mix together with the moisturizer before I apply into my face. This is a type of oil highlighter. So it's gonna mix really well with the moisturizer before applying to my face and the reason why i decided to mix these two products together is because the highlighter is a little bit intense in the color and i don't want to apply too much color i just want to create some natural glow that you can see it through the foundation when i apply the foundation on top it looks stunning like is the natural glow of my face the moisturizer is very good and the highlighter emphasizes the look especially when I want to create the type of glass skin that is so popular lately and everybody's doing this type of glass skin and it looks amazing, really natural, like your skin is really beautiful and healthy and glowy and at the same time perfect, like there is no coverage at all but we all know that we can cover all the imperfections and now i'm gonna apply a little bit of primer in the center of my face i'm gonna use a silicone based primer from smashbox and i decided to use to blur my pores a little bit just in the center and also i'm gonna apply a little bit of lip balm while i do my makeup this one is from lancome very good for my dry lips and next i'm gonna apply foundation so i'm gonna use lock it from kvd beauty i love this one from many years because it's a full coverage foundation so Prepping my skin like this, I can apply just a small amount of product as you guys can see and it looks stunning. To apply, I used Mood Taste Care Brush from Sigma. This is my favorite to apply foundation. Now I'm gonna use a full coverage concealer from NARS, Radiance Cream Concealer in light and also I'm gonna use a bronzer as my contour. Today I'm gonna use Laguna 2 from NARS as well and Again, from NARS, I'm gonna use a translucent powder all over my face, but I'm gonna concentrate the product exactly where I want to remove the excess shine. So basically, I don't wanna apply too much product. Next, I'm gonna use blush from Glowish. This color is so pretty in my skin. It matches perfectly. I absolutely love it. And next, I'm gonna use Light Work Palette from Denisa Myricks, and I'm gonna use the lightest shade as my highlighting shade. So I'm gonna apply the highest points using the high cheekbone brush this is my favorite brush to apply highlighter now i'm gonna use melt cosmetics glazed skin finishing powder i'm gonna use this color to set the contour area using this brush this is a very big brush so it gives me a soft application and i really want to show you the brushes that i'm using today and i decided to film it for you guys and let's move on to the eyes i'm gonna apply a very good eyeshadow base that prevents my eyes from creasing this is the 24 hour from Smashbox and I'm gonna apply using a shader brush and I'm gonna use for today's look the warm neutrals palette from Sigma so to set the eyeshadow base I'm gonna use the lightest shade from the palette and this is a matte eyeshadow and I'm gonna set the eyeshadow base I'm gonna apply a little bit in the inner corners and in the brow bone as well this step will make it easy to blend the next eyeshadows that I'm gonna apply next I'm gonna use a light pink shade and I'm gonna start off applying in the inner third of the eye and in my inner corners as well and then i'm gonna just switch the brush and i'm gonna take a light pink eyeshadow to apply in the crease as you guys can see this color is not so pigmented here because i set the eyeshadow base before so as i said it makes easy to blend so i start applying the shadows a little bit time i just want to create some transition with this color and next i'm gonna use a shader brush again and i'm gonna apply a dark brown eyeshadow in the outer corners using the same brush and no more products i'm gonna just diffuse the edges to give me more precision at the same time that i want to create a very blended look so i'm gonna take the same brush that i was applying my crease shade and i'm gonna just diffuse the colors and not add more product next i'm gonna do a dark plum eyeliner so i'm gonna take angle brush like this and i'm gonna take this plum shade and i'm gonna create my eyeliner if you like, you can even 
with the brush to make it easier. You can use setting spray and to finish off, I apply false lashes and mascara. Now, let's move on to the lips. I'm gonna start off applying a pinkish nude lip contour from Melt Cosmetics. I really like this one because it's kind of a gel formula, so it's so easy to apply and it dries matte. It's so hard to take off, so it's amazing. This is very good because it's a type of long wear lip liner. Next, I'm gonna apply a red lip in the center of the lips to create a doll-like effect so i'm gonna use this amazing red lipstick from still louder i love this one it's so beautiful guys especially to do this trick so now i can apply the liquid lipstick and for today's look i chose a nude lipstick from smashbox i had this lipstick a few years ago and i bought it again because it's stunning guys and to finish off i'm gonna apply a tint lip oil on top and that's it for this look. I really hope that you love it much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and I see you later in the next one. Bye!